Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create just a simple Blender animation for a Gorilla Tag video. So, this is the example we're going to be making today. Just a little video like that of him raising his hand and waving. So, here we go. Let's get into it. Alright. So you're gonna go to the first link in the description, and yes, this is an outdated version, but we need this specific version, this is the version that works best. Alright, so I already have Blender, I'm not gonna go through the explanation of how to install it, but if you don't have Blender installed already, the website for Blender should be the second link in the description. So go download, um, the latest version should work, and go through the whole installation setup, and then... Now what you're going to do is, in your recent download history, just find the blend, click on it, it should automatically open Blender, and it'll look something like this. So, you're gonna... I recommend hitting this button in the top corner, it'll just add a little more atmosphere to it, make it look cooler, and if you want to customize the colors in the background, you could go to World over here hit the arrow by color color ramp and just mess with these colors if you want to make it more bluish more anything really and now what we're gonna do is make sure you have this bottom part open if you don't have it open I think you just have to make sure these two are checked on um, but it should already be open drag it up a little bit you can drag this a little more to the side so that you got more space zoom out and but first if you want to change anything in here now's your time so, if you want to change the username, click here on the text, hit edit, just change it to whatever. And if you want to change the fur color, click exactly on this. Not so that the boxes show up, we'll get to that later. But so that just the, the like a outline of the monkey shows. Scroll down on this side until you get to materials, looks like this. Scroll down until you see primary color and just change this to what you want the color to be. And now what you want to do, we're going to use this animation now, but we're going to click on these little boxes and the lines and all that now. Click up here where it says object mode, and click pose mode, and now here we go, we're actually going to get into it. So bring this sidebar over, first you're going to hit pose, animation, insert keyframe, and this will just be our first frame it'll be basic all right and then second frame move this up a little bit and then select pose animation insert keyframe now move one to the right move it up a little bit and rotate it slightly pose animation insert keyframe and so we're just going to repeat this process of slowly moving it up, rotating it a little bit, and going frame by frame until we get it up to that ground. So here we go, time lapse. Alright, here we go. So I've got the first part done. So let's see what our animation looks like. Just hit this play button, and then bam, we got the first part down. So, yeah. These keys may disappear, you just gotta click on the hand again. Also, I don't know if I said this, make sure it's the hand controller. Um, yeah. Alright, so now we've got our first part. And, what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna take this guy now, and we're gonna create the waving motion. So, if you want to do both of these at the same time. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is just do the left hand at the start, but I'm gonna make it so that the first hand goes up and then you wave. But yeah, so the same process for the first part for the hand to come up. You're just gonna bring it up, slowly rotate it, but rather than rotating it to be flat, rotate it so that you're ready to get to the like the start of waving your hand. Alright, so once you get to about this point, it should be good where your hand's like at this area. If you want, you could do it higher. I'm gonna do it down here. Um, but yeah. 
Here we go. So this is what we got so far. In preparation. Alright. So once we're there, click on the hand again to get your last frame you did. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna create one wave cycle first. So frame by frame, you're gonna have it slowly rotate a little bit. And one thing I have to say is you don't have to be super tiny with every single keyframe movement. Because if you can't tell already from what I'm doing, um, like I'm doing pretty big jumps and it still looks smooth. That's because Blender, while you still have to do the, a lot of the manual stuff, Blender does do some of the smoothing for you. But it still is pretty tedious, so I understand that. But here we go. Alright, that should be good, so let's see how it looks. Alright, so you want to leave it so it's just a little before the first hand down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the very first frame where the waving starts. So for me, it would be right here. And we're just going to select all of those. Make sure your first frame is selected too. And now, we're just gonna right click, copy, and then drag to the next free frame, paste. And do this however many times you wanna do it. If you think there's, if you think it goes too fast, you can add one in between. There might also be a way to slow down these, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, that's going to be it for your, for your first simple animation. Oh yeah, and I forgot the one most important part, how to export it. So the way you export it is you're going to go to object mode again, hit add, camera, and just gonna, you could use these panels and this hand, click on the camera going to move it around just however you want it to be. Alright, so once you have the camera set up, there is two ways you can export it. One way doesn't work with me for some reason, I don't know. But, yeah. There is one way. This should be the basic way. If the animation is going at normal speed, that means you're good. You could go to image, probably save it. Um, but for some reason that doesn't work for me. If it doesn't work for you either, what you're going to want to do, go to Render, View Animation. This will be in the corner. So, where this is, you want to find that on your PC. So, be on your PC, hit your C drive or wherever it is. Then, scroll down until you see your TMP folder. And, there may be a couple of clips Find the one that's best, the one that's the best full animation. And there we go. You could copy that and maybe just create a new folder. And then paste it in. I haven't tested fully yet, but I'm pretty sure the temp file shouldn't go away if it's copied into the blender um it will obviously go away in the temp folder because that's a temp folder but i don't think it'll go away in this folder and if you follow the tutorial correctly this should be your final result there we go that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to leave a like if this video helped you out if you want me to do more tutorials like this uh yeah just also, like the video and subscribe. Peace out. Stay smooth.